We are here with Coach Jarek Slogowski, and he is the owner of the Grind Boxing Gym in Prescott. Great to have you with us, Coach. Great to be here. Thank you very much. All right, so you just, uh, the Grind Boxing Gym in Prescott has been open for two years now. Yes, yeah. I opened the gym two years ago in June 2015. Well, happy anniversary. That's pretty Thank good. Thank you very much. <laughs> No, I think this is, is up in my neighborhood. Tell us where the Grind uh, Gym is. Grind Boxing Gym is located on uh, 1438 West Gurley Street in Prescott. Awesome. So it's kind of across from Casa Sanchez. Yeah, yeah. So you work up an appetite, then you run over there and yeah, some, some Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so you have been in combat sports and coaching for about 40 years. Years now, it doesn't look like you're actually old enough. Were you like three when you started? No. Oh, I am. <laughs> so, how how did you get started in in this uh, the sports. sport? Yeah. Well, I was born and raised in Poland, and I started combat sports with judo. I competed in judo, then uh, came kickboxing, boxing, and so on. So, I was a fighter, and then obviously after uh, finishing the fighting career, I became coach, and I coached both in uh, Europe and then for 25 years in New Jersey. Wow, that is amazing. Now, you did you were you drawn to this? How did you get into this? Did you like this? And you said, yeah. I want to do that, you know? Yeah, my father was a soccer player, like people ah. in Europe. So um, I came a couple times from school uh, with big bruises. <laughs> and my father said, now you have to take care of yourself. So what was available at that time in my hometown was judo. So I started with judo. And then pretty soon I found out that uh, striking is actually what I like. <laughs> Interesting. And interesting. so I joined boxing and then kickboxing. Well, I imagine now, since your hands are a weapon, you know, that once you learned those skills, then uh, you got left alone at school just because they knew you could defend yourself, right? Yeah, sort of. Oh, sometimes <laughs> I left you my mark. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't come home with them anymore. That was, no good. more because my father told me not to. <laughs> now, you're also an Olympic um, co uh, USA boxing a certified Olympic coach. What does that, what does that mean? Yeah, um, there is Olympic uh, Boxing Association in the United States. It's called USA Boxing, just like USA Wrestling or Fencing. And um, that's what I did. Uh, the gym that I work on, for example, in New Jersey was uh, certified and registered with USA Boxing. I am certified coach. So we follow certain rules, uh, mainly rules of safety, because Olympic style boxing is very different than professional boxing, what oh. people see on the, on the screen. Where of people the are TV. getting beat up. Yeah, the badly. idea, yeah. It's not as cruel. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, my gym here in Prescott, the Grind Gym, is also a uh, registered USA Boxing. So am I still a uh, certified USA Boxing coach? Like I said, that comes with certain responsibility. It's the rules and regulations of uh, safety. Safety, and one more time, safety. I love it. Okay? Well, well, now, what do you offer people at the Grind Boxing Gym then? Well. I coach in New Jersey a competitive boxer. I have a bunch of them, 30 or 40, I don't remember even. It's very time consuming. So my idea here in, New I mean, in Prescott was to bring a boxing workout to general public to enjoy the workout, okay? Because the, the com competitive part of it is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. There's huge, you know, uh, training uh, that is, you know, underneath and Anybody can enjoy it. So we offer at Grind Gym the training that comes with the boxing, uh, learning the technical boxing skills, uh, learning everything about the drill, special drills on attribute, which is like speed, uh, flexibility, uh, strength conditioning. But there's no contact, so uh, people don't have to worry. Oh, yeah, someone's going to hit me in the face. So wow, no, that's that, important. Because yeah. like I say, what we see on TV is people getting you know, seriously hurt. Yeah. It's like, why would anybody do that? But yeah. that's not at all what happens. No. With <clears throat> It's everything from the very beginning, like positioning stances, moving, throwing punches, combinations, defenses, uh, how to work stations, or we call stations, heavy bags, double end bags, and all those things. And then how to work with the training partner with uh, target mitts on the hands. And like I said, there's no contact into the face, so nobody has to be worrying about, okay, on my face or something. Uh, I have competitive part of it, but that's a different story, okay? It's not my okay. main emphasis. My main <coughs> uh, emphasis is in bringing boxing to the general public because it's a great sport when oh, you know what you're doing. Okay, so is it primarily for self-defense or, or you do teach self-defense as part of this? Well, um, to be honest with you, from my experience, uh, boxing, kickboxing, it's uh, it's activity that uh, 
uh, helps you with self-defense because any combat sport, especially striking or kicking like boxing and kickboxing is based on so-called uh, muscle memory. And muscle memory is something that you are not involved with processing, okay? So, so if, if you're nervous, punch, you're yeah, going to remember yeah, what you, you trained. Your body to. will remember. Wow. Before you think about anything, you do something and then you think, okay, I slipped, I ducked, you know, that's what it is with oh, boxing because it's such a f fast sport. The punches are a split of seconds, so you don't have time. And basically, the everyday life is seeing, processing, and then reacting. In boxing or kickboxing, we remove the processing. So you see, and then you react, as we call it, reptilian brain. Nice. So that's real self-defense. Now, also, it's uh, fitness, I guess. Uh, you know, people take yoga, or they do Pilates or whatever, but also boxing is a, a fit kind of sport, too? Yes, it is. I mean, um, obviously, <laughs> people see boxers, they're all in great shape, right? So that's, <laughs> that's the idea behind to bring the same workout and have a fun and get into the great shape. I have people who have been almost from the very beginning, and it's unbelievable the shape they are in, okay? And they started barely, you know, catching breath, and now they're like doing things that it's just, oh, it's so easy, okay? Yeah, yeah we can do this. Now, what ages? Because I saw a picture with a little kid. You're teaching yeah. from what age to what age? Well, um, according to our uh, regulation, the USA Boxing, you know, the minimum age is age. Eight. So okay. we have, uh, for example, a little girl. Her name is Jayla, and she's eight, and she's wow. ferocious. Uh, Whoa, boxer. Ferocious. Yeah. We call her rapid, rapid fire. <laughs> she gets bullied a lot at school, but not anymore. <laughs> she can punch. <laughs> and the, the oldest person that I train is 84. So you know that's a big span of age, right? Oh my gosh, that's amazing! I can just see my mother in there boxing. But anyway. <laughs> You, you gotta love that. Anything is possible. Now, also competition. You you talk about it, it's different, but do you also train uh, competing? You know, competition. Yeah, I have uh, a couple boxers that compete in Olympic style boxing. I have uh, a couple MMA fighters. In fact, uh, we have uh, Danny Hilton, who is a current. Uh, 155 pounds uh, champion, and uh, he's currently preparing for defense of the title on September 2nd, and he trains uh, boxing, kickboxing, and grind gym. Well, and where's, where is that? Where's he performing? Uh, the fight that he got the title was in Prescott Valley in the event center, and so oh, yeah. it's going to be the defense of the title. And this is Danny, right? Danny that's Hilton, it. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, that's so great. Well, I love the fact that it's for, like, all ages. We can all go over there, and um, I'll just say this. You're going to offer a free trial class. Get on over to Grind Boxing Gym. I'm sorry, but this sounds like a very, very fun thing to do. Coach Jarek Slagowski, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Whoa, love it. Hey, we can defend ourselves. <laughs> <laughs>